Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's October 22nd, 2018. I'm on the westernmost edge of the property. Uh, over here behind me is Pond 5, which you've seen me doing some pond patching with. This is a roadway that goes along the stone wall, which is where those trees there are planted. And that's what I'm talking about today. About five years ago, I purchased some one-year-old uh, black locust seedlings and, and decided I was going to see how well I can get them to create a living fence along this edge. This edge is the, is the western edge of the property line. Uh, further west of here is a large pasture area, a uh, grazing area for the black Angus cattle that my neighbors have, and they do some haying over there as well. There's a couple thousand feet to where the next wood line is, way down uh, lower on the property. The top of the trees over there are just about the height where I'm at right here. So we get the really strong wester winds, westerly winds uh, all winter long and throughout all different times of the year. Sorry about it being so overcast today uh, for this video, but it, at least the winds are calm. And uh, so I planted these black locust trees all along here to create a living fence. And it has worked out really, really well. Now I have, I've talked about the honey locust trees and done some transplanting. I've got those in the first and second food forest on the property. There's, there's some controversy whether they are true nitrogen fixers having a symbiotic relationship with a, with a nitrogen fixing bacterium. And, uh, and but it's it's pretty well documented that the black locusts are great nitrogen fixers and as a result they really shoot up pretty darn quickly uh, they shoot up four or five feet in a season and I've had some that have had wind damage where the tops have snapped off and shoot up six feet after that a side branch would just shoot right up six feet after that so they certainly are uh, very productive. Uh, some people would think of them as being a nuisance because they, they grow so rapidly and because they shoot up root suckers as well as seeds will, will blow off and, and, uh, and germinate and send up new seedlings as well. So they're not a tree that folks want to set and forget, uh, just, just plant them and forget them. The other thing people don't like about them, they have thorns. A lot of people say they got really large thorns. These ones don't really have that large of thorns. They do have thorns, but that isn't a prob problem for a living fence. Uh, that's what it's being used for. Another benefit is, well, these, these buggers are great for forage for the herbivores. So the property line down there, if, if, if some more black locusts work their way down towards the edge of the pasture, I think my neighbor's going to enjoy having the black ankus have something else to, to uh, forage on as well. And they're self-limiting, uh, the uh, herbivores are. Uh, another benefit of, the, of these uh, trees is they're really wonderful. They make great hand tools as well. So a handle to your shovel or scythe or whatever it is that you have, your hammers. Uh, as long as you work with the, with the wood shortly after you harvest the wood, it's really, uh, it can create a long lasting, uh, hardy, uh, better than ash wood uh, handles for your tools. Now I haven't done that yet because I just haven't had the time, but these buggers shoot up like crazy. And when I prune them, uh, boy, we got some good material that I could make some handles out of. Uh, but I really have to develop those skills as well. Uh, another benefit is they're really rot resistant. We live in a cold temperate climate where there's lots of moisture in the soil and therefore uh, pressure treated timbers uh, uh, it will break down fairly quickly but the black locust is known for its, its tremendous rot resistance. The black locusts are also known for their high BTU so they really make a great firewood being very prolific and producing lots of, of uh, wood rapidly and being good for firewood and hand tools. And it appears that they're really good at creating a living, fe a living fence as well. Those are all really great benefits of these trees. Another amazing benefit is the honeybees absolutely love these black locust uh, flowers when they're, when they're produced and they taste great too, the black locust flowers. The fragrance is amazing and I've fallen in love with them. Uh, now we have several different types of locust trees here on site 
and uh, and they all uh, break with their fragrances that produce their nectar and pollen at different times and then we have the different willows the various peaches plums nectarines apples uh, pluots you know and so on and so forth so all of them produce their nectars uh, their flowers at different times of the year which is really beneficial for all the gardening that we do as the beneficial insects will feast on these. Uh, you know, another tree that's really good are the, the basswoods, the, the, the insects absolutely love them. But back to the black locust, the, the, the fragrance is just very enjoyable, just like the honey locust fragrance as well. So uh, one of the things I've got to do, oh, what are the two, pro three problems I've had with the black locust trees? Number one, since the deer uh, herbivores love them, uh, they tend to uh, uh, forage on their low-lying branches, which is no problem as far as I'm concerned. I actually want the deer to be uh, to gravitate towards the black locust trees more so than going to my fruit and nut trees, so that's great. They are susceptible to deer browse, so this time of year uh, the bucks are getting ready to to uh, to rub the velvet off their antlers and they're they're going to be strutting their stuff for the does and uh, and there's going to be a lot of deer rub. Now I've got some work to do to build some more cages around like the almond trees which have been taking a hit before. But the black locusts also take a hit from the deer rub. But the black locusts are pretty much so darn hardy that the root mass is good, even if they basically destroy the, the trunk of the tree right down to, the, to a foot off the ground, well, a sucker will come up the, the next spring. So that's really, really wonderful. Uh, I'm going to harvest some of the seeds. Oh, what's the other problem that I've had? Uh, the other problem I've had is I've got a, uh, I've had to, in the first couple years along the tree line here, the, the trees have actually, instead of staying straight up like I originally planted them, they actually tilted over almost 40, 45 degrees toward the roadside because of the high winds from the west. So what I ended up doing was taking the grading bucket from Bumblebee, the mini excavator, and pushing the trees back and sort of angling them outward. Let me see if I can do this outward towards the west so that when when they compensated for the wind they ended up being pretty much straight up and that's they've really done very well I'm going to come up come through today and and prune off those limbs that are hanging out this way there's a couple of the forked ones that aren't wide enough they aren't at a good 40 degree 45 degrees off to the side they're too much of a wide that could cause the the trunks to uh, split eventually so those I'll end up fixing as well, and I'm going to harvest some of these small uh, seed pods. Uh, the seed pods on the black locust are really small. They're only a few inches long, maybe three inches long, compared to the large honey locust uh, seed pods, which produce bean-like size seeds, small bean size or pea seeds, uh, pea type uh, seed size. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prune off some of these lower limbs that are hanging out over the access road here going along Pond 5. I'm going to harvest a, quite a few of the seeds and I'm going to go ahead and put those seeds with, with a little bit of compost along the other fence lines where I want to have this since this has done so well. Uh, I think that this is uh, this is going to be one of my main trees for our living fences on the property. I think they're absolutely fantastic. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, if you found this of value, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we post more videos. And certainly, folks, have a great day. Bye-bye now.
Thank you.